The Kingdom of Bahrain strongly condemns the cowardly terrorist attack that targeted a mosque in the eastern city of Sehat in the province of Gatif in the sisterly kingdom of Saudi Arabia that claimed a number of innocent lives and injured many others. Bahrain expresses heartfelt condolences to Saudi leadership, relatives of the victims and to Saudi people wishing speedy recovery to those injured as a result of this terrorist attack that in cross violation of Islamic teachings and contravene all human values values and ethics. The Kingdom of Bahrain is confident that such acts will never succeed in splitting, making any rift or dispute among Saudi nationals, thanks to the wisdom and determination of the custodian of the two holy mosques and the Saudi citizens who were aware of the vicious plots and conspiracies aiming to undermine security and so abhorrent sectarian rift across Arab and Islamic worlds. The Kingdom of Bahrain reaffirms its unwavering solidarity stance with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and its support to all measures it takes to consolidate security and stability all over its territories, as well as cooperation with Saudi Arabia's efforts in order to eradicate all forms of types of plug of terrorism. The Kingdom of Bahrain highly commends the practical and unmistakable Saudi's efforts to consolidate regional and international security and peace with effective pragmatic initiative to overcome all challenges and crises that are facing the region and the international community, including violence and terrorism. The newest event on Bahrain's cultural calendar, Art Bahrain, concluded yesterday after a successful debut edition. Danielle Deporto brings us more in this report. The inaugural edition of Art Bahrain drew to a close yesterday, following a successful four-day run in a purpose-built Grand Marquis at Bahrain Bay. The eponymous event was held in partnership with the Economic Development Board and Tamkeen, under the patronage of Her Royal Highness, Princess Abihad mit Ibrahim Al Khalifa, wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women. I'm very impressed with organization. It's, it's very well organized. They're making so much effort to please all the participants. There's so much help and support. So for us, it's a blessing. I'm quite happy we'll definitely come back next year. The event centered around an impressive exhibition of artworks with a series of interactive workshops and forums for art aficionados and investors on the sidelines. Held under the theme Create, Connect, Inspire, Art Bahrain attracted participants including 170 artists and 21 galleries representing 19 countries. Now I think art is booming here in the Middle East comparing to Europe, even the US. Perhaps Chinese market can compete with the Middle Eastern market at the moment. But it's definitely the place to be. If you're an artist or an art collector or agent, investor, that's the place to be. Despite global credentials, there was an emphasis on promoting local artists and the island's perennial status as a hub of culture and commerce. Culture came to Bahrain before it actually went to the other parts. Uh, the Bahraini uh, 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 culture is embedded. It's not, it's not uh, acquired. Now that makes it really easy for, for you to get inspired and explore possibilities because it's not short-lived, it's, it's not seasonal, it's not something that's being done because it's the flavor of the month. It's, it's, it's a part of who they are. In Bahrain, we have a, a history of, uh, of a long uh, art movement. We established the art in the Gulf before any country. And we have a professional artist in Bahrain but they are not taking place in the map of the world. I am happy for, uh, for this art show Bahrain because uh, this is our dream as a Bahraini artist to uh, Bahrain to become in the map of the art in the world. Although final visitor numbers have not yet been tallied, organizers expect these figures to be in line with our projections of around 10,000 visitors, including 200 international art collectors and 2,000 VIP clients. Following the success of its debut, Art Bahrain is expected to return next year. Trade of any kind is very important uh, uh, from top to bottom because eventually it's that circle which keeps inspiring. So it inspires the artist, it, ins uh, it inspires the market, it, it, it inspires the environment. Reporting for Bahrain Television, I'm Danielle Deporto. Good evening and welcome to the sports news on Bahrain TV. Bahrain opened its medal account at the second GCC Games being held in the Mom Saudi Arabia. Abdullah Al-Mjaddimi gave Bahrain three bronze medals, the clean, jerk and total in the 56 
kg event of the weightlifting championship at Prince Sultan bin Jlouwi gym in Raqqa. Saudi Arabia's Mansoor Salam took the gold while UAE's Ahmed Jawson begged the silver. Three of Bahrain's finest weightlifters will be in action when Salman Kindi competes in the 69 kilogram division, Yusuf Shirawi in the 86 event, and Hamad Al Aish in the 94 kilogram section. In the handball championship, Bahrain started their campaign with an impressive 31 25 win over competition favorites and world championship runners up Qatar at Prince Naif bin Abdul Aziz Sport City Stadium. Bahrain also led the game at halftime with a 14 to 10 advantage. Bahrain's coach Borat was pinning hopes on some of his experienced players as well as several new talent named recently, including veteran skipper Jafar Abdul Qadir, Hassan Shahab, Mohammed Mirza, and Jossim Salatna.